Hi, I'm Sean, one of the news editors at Manx Radio, and as we've heard in the news today, the Culture of Care Barometer questionnaire has been published. This looks at the opinions of doctors working at Nobles Hospital on the Isle of Man, and they've raised concerns about the culture on the island. I spoke to the Chief Executive of Manx Care, Teresa Cope. We found out about the results of the Culture of Care Barometer survey on Friday afternoon. Um, the organisation had committed to run the survey last year in, in 2022 and for that survey to be repeated uh, this year. Um, And it has run for about a three-week period, which has coincided with the TT. Um, So we were advised by the BMA that the results were available on Friday afternoon and were being published today. So obviously we haven't had a huge amount of time to digest the results. Um, But obviously what we've read so far, um, we are slightly disappointed that we haven't been able to evidence as much progress as what we had liked. Um, But obviously we remain very committed to work with the BMA, engage with them and to develop um, a further action plan in response to the results of the survey. From last year's survey, we uh, put in place an action plan and a lot of those um, improvements have been delivered. But it's, it's clear from the results that there's more work we need to do. And as one of our top strategic priorities, improving the culture of the organisation, uh, we, will, we will absolutely commit to do that. Um, so listening to, to what the BMA have to say, working with them to develop a new action plan which responds to all the concerns. Um, Just having an initial look at some of the feedback, I mean, I think what is encouraging is that a number of, an increased number of doctors have responded to the survey. Um, So 72 doctors have responded compared to just 49 last year. That's around 45% of our doctors. But I think what's really important is this is um, the respondents represent around 2.5% of the overall workforce of Manx Care. And we do know that we have made significant progress in working in partnership with all of our other staff side organisations. But clearly there is still more work to do in terms of that engagement with our medical community um, and particularly the BMA. Now, digesting the results even further... Um, against the sort of seven main themes, it is clear that there is increased confidence in the management um, and leadership of the organisation, which has moved from a mostly disagree last year into mostly agreeing this this year. Um, Empowerment and values have worsened and we need to understand what that really means um, and how we address that. Um, Some of this is slightly at odds with what we have heard back through the CQC inspections. So we've had CQC running, um, inspecting all of our services over the last 12 months. That has come to a conclusion. We have over 90 CQC reports uh, available to us. And actually CQC have identified that there has been significant cultural improvement in a number of areas of the organisation. Um, But I think now is the time to uh, absolutely reaffirm our commitment to working constructively with all of our staff side organisations, listening, hearing what we need to put in place and responding to that. So so for me, it is about um, all of Manx Care, listening, uh, reaffirming our commitment and then working constructively with our partner organisations on what that improvement looks like. You talked there about the response to the questions about management and leadership and overall I think it was 27% agreeing um, supporting the management situation. However, there was one question in particular they asked about strong leadership at the highest level in the organisation. In total it was 79% disagreeing or strongly disagreeing that there is strong leadership at the highest level. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I do. I do recognise that that's what has been said, but I also um, counter that against what CQC reported to us in their well-led report, which essentially said the uh, leadership at the top of Manx Care had the um, the skills, the ability, the integrity, and were fit and proper people to run the organisation. So I think, again, it is always about um, a small proportion of people feeling that. Uh, We have to acknowledge that is the way they feel and we 
again, commit to working with them to make the necessary improvements so all staff can have confidence in the leadership of Manx Care. But, um, but I have to sort of counter that with this is a very small proportion of people who feel like that. It's really important we hear their views and why they think that. Um, but I also know we have a CQC report which has tested the entire organisation where the CQC um, have recognised that the leadership of Manx Care have the appropriate skills, the ability, um, integrity and experience to lead the organisation. Why do you think there is that disparity between some of the CQC findings and some of the results we see here? Um, well, I think it's obviously people's opinion. You know, this is um, the survey, the Culture of Care Barometer is an opportunity for individuals to anonymously give their views on the organisation, um, their contribution to the organisation, how they feel about the organisation. And I think how I reconcile it in some ways is that we want to make sure we have a, all of our staff have a really good experience. But as we go through a period of transformation and change and responding to the external environment and needing to continuously improve, there may well be people who um, don't like what we are doing. Um, but we absolutely want to make sure that those individuals who who are not having a good experience at work, do have the confidence to come and speak to us directly about what their concerns are and how we can work with them. You know, I am very, very conscious since Manx Care was established, we have made a number of changes and we've, we've had to deal with COVID. And then we went straight into last year of all of our services being comprehensively inspected. We've had a restoration and recovery program um, running, which has has needed us to sort of really uh, ramp up our response to uh, restoring the waiting lists and, and reducing waiting times for all of our patients. In some areas, we've had to respond to some real significant concerns around quality and delivery. And all of that means we are putting continuous change into the organisation at a time when we know there are um, real workforce vacancies, we are still operating with a vacancy factor much higher than what we would, would like. And that does cause um, stress for some of our staff at times. Uh, we absolutely acknowledge that. And that's why the relationship with um, staff side organisations is so incredibly important to us. Um, you know, whatever we think, we are we are wanting to do the best for our staff. We really value our staff and their contribution. Um, and that's a common goal with our staff side organisations. We both want the best for our staff. Um, so in turn, we deliver the best possible patient care uh, and service user care. Um, so for those people who feel really, really strongly that they're not enjoying their experience working for Manx Care, I would really want to to speak to them directly, understand their concerns and try and try and address those concerns if we possibly can. Well, you touched on it there, speaking directly to staff. I think after last year's Culture of Care survey, you said that your door is always mm. open. Have you seen staff coming to you over the last 12 months? Absolutely. You know, probably several individuals every week come and seek me out um, and have that conversation with, with me. And the same applies for all of the exec team. Our door genuinely is open and we are here to listen. We do recognise that might take a time for people to uh, have that trust and confidence that we are here to listen, but that it is genuine that we, we want to hear the staff experiences. We know there are cultural issues. We know from Sir Jonathan Michael's report uh, four years ago that there are cultural issues. That's why we identified cultural improvement as one of our priorities for the organisation, one of our four key priorities. It is really important we just keep um, the momentum on that and continuously look to improve, to, to listen to hear the feedback from, from staff in the organisation and to respond. Um, there is a lot of work we need to do, but we absolutely are committed to, um, to demonstrating that cultural improvement and making Manx Care a great place to work. 
Well, you touched on um, the work you need to do there. 74% of those who responded to this survey said that they disagree or strongly disagree that Manx Care listens to its staff. Is that one of those areas then that, that really does need some focus? Uh, yes. Yes, I think so. You know, we, we meet with um, the BMA at least monthly, often twice monthly. Um, and I think what we need to to generate is that confidence where staff can come to us directly as the executive team, as the leadership teams in the, the, the care groups of the organisation, um, or that they, they go through the local negotiating committee in the BMA and they speak on their behalf. So I think this is the opportunity to to reset. There are some positives, but ultimately what this um, survey says is we have not made as much improvement as what we would have liked and what we need to see. Um, so I mean, my, my view is that we need to get round the table with the BMA uh, now, uh, refocus the plans um, and reaffirm what we are going to do over the next 12 months and make sure that is communicated to all doctors so they have the confidence and understand what we are going to do differently uh, going forward. Um, you know, the, the local negotiating committee of the, of the BMA are there to represent the voices of their, their members And so if their members do not wish to talk to us directly as the exec team or the senior leadership team of Manx Care, then then they can go through the LNC and the LNC can uh, reflect their views. Um, So whether that's listening to staff directly or working through the the LNC as a partnership organisation of um, the BMA, then that's what we are committed to doing. Now, the BMA have put out a statement this morning on the outcome of this survey. They have said that, uh, to their mind, these figures show a persistent culture of poor senior leadership and that doctors are not treated with respect. What are your thoughts on those comments? Um, you know, I have to respect the uh, the BMA for the comments they're making. You know, I think what we have and what our experience is, it's slightly more nuanced than that. What we see through the survey and some of the free text comments and certainly what I hear is that sometimes this is a lack of respect between doctors, actually. It's not, uh, I think there's probably a perception this is managers and clinicians at odds with each other. What this, um, it, it is much more nuanced than that and that a lot of the cases, this is doctors who are at odds with doctors, whether that's consultants and more junior doctors Um, or whether that's consultants and consultants. You know, I think there's a whole raft of work that we need to do just to make sure there is um, professional respect across the organisation linked to our care values. Um, So so I I respect and acknowledge the comments that have been made uh, by, by the BMA. I do think it's slightly more nuanced than that. And I've picked out some of the the less favourable statistics already. I don't want to focus all on the negative. There were some quite Mm. strong um, agreement in terms of the the team question results. The colleagues there saying that they they find they can rely on their colleagues when things get difficult and that they are able to ask for help. How important is it to have that culture within within peers, within Manx Care? It's incredibly important. you know, we are an integrated health and care organisation and that sense of of team is is really, really important. Uh, Good quality care is directly directly derived from having a positive working culture um, and having trust and confidence in the team around you, whether that's uh, a clinical team or whether that's uh, a more wider team made up of um, managers, etc., um, so that is important and it is encouraging. So in terms of going forward from here then, what is Manx Care doing to try and tackle the cultural issues? Well, we've been working on a people culture and engagement strategy, which really sort of sets that longer term frame for cultural improvement across the organisation, including things like workforce planning, training and education, leadership, reward and recognition. Um, so we're, we are just in the stages of finalising that um, before it goes to the board. That has had wide um, involvement across the entire organisation to be able to make sure we've 
you know, both identified the bottom up approaches of what all our staff feel is really, really important to see, um, as well as sort of the board being um, comfortable that this reflects the strategic priorities for Manx Care. So that will be coming to our board in July, which will set a very clear um, improvement plan for the organisation for the next three years, co covering all aspects of the people and culture agenda. Thank you for making it to the end of the Little Manx Radio newscast. You are obviously someone with exquisite taste. May I politely suggest you might want to subscribe to this and a wide range of Manx Radio podcasts at your favourite podcast provider so our best bits will magically appear on your smartphone. Thank you. Thank you.